tell you about my problems with the IA store A error, as well as the kernel PNP error, uh, how I diagnosed it and how I fixed it. So first of all, uh, my computer was booting up just fine, but about uh, 10 minutes in, it would just freeze and just completely be unresponsive for about 20 seconds. It would come back, everything would work fine, and then uh, a few minutes later, it would go into its freeze mode again. So finally, the way that I, that I figured out it was the IA store A is that I just had the event viewer up along with the task manager, and I could see you know, uh, what tasks were, were going on, uh, system interrupts, desktop uh, Windows manager, etc. Very low CPU. And then when the freeze would happen, I would check the event log, and sure enough, I'd find the IA store A or the kernel PMP. Uh, this has to do with the Intel driver. In my case, I have an HP NV desktop. So it's the rapid state or also known as the IA store.sys driver, uh, event ID 129. Uh, and I uh, pinpointed that it, it was uh, definitely related to this issue. So uh, the way I fixed it, you know, after downloading all the latest drivers from HP and still not, not getting anywhere, finally I went to the uh, Intel website and just directly downloaded from Intel the setup RST, the latest uh, driver for the setup RST uh, .zip. You could also do the uh, .exe. I don't know what Optane memory is. I have no idea. I didn't touch those. I just downloaded this one. And what that did is created a little icon here. You can see it says Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Uh, that was the first step. Then I went over to my power management and settings. Uh, let me pull that up. That's right here. So under power options, uh, I choose what the power buttons do. And I turned off fast startups. In order to do that, you have to click change settings that are currently unavailable. And that should be off. That allows the drivers that are stored in the kernel image to be refreshed when you boot up. Otherwise, you're still loading the older drivers and uh, wasn't getting anywhere. Even though I was making all these changes, I was just stuck in a loop. So when I turned that off, finally everything clicked together. So that's one. The other one is under your power plan. So if I click on change plan settings, uh, change advanced power settings, be sure that your hard disk, especially if you have an SSD, uh, is set to zero minutes, which means never. Zero means never. I'll show you if I could just go up here, come back down. See, it says never for zero. Be sure that that's set, that your um, fast start is turned to off. You've got the latest drivers. You may have to reboot a couple of times. You may even have to go into safe mode to do some of these things. But when I did that, finally, the events uh, stopped coming back up. Let me scroll over here to my event viewer. You can see no more IA store A uh, problems. These other errors have not caused any hangs or freezes, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I don't know what VTH USB is, but again, my system's working fine. Everything's fine. So anyway, hope this helps. And if you have this issue, just comment below if it helped. Let me know.